Like many 80s cartoons, Visionaries had a toy line similar to that of G.I. Joe, with each figure approximately the same size as the G.I. Joe figure. Had Visionaries had a second season, more characters were planned for the toy line, but with the cancellation of the show, that was not to be. Like the G.I. Joe toy range, Visionaries also had vehicles that accompanied their action figures, such as the Dagger Assault and Skyclaw, among other vehicles in that range. They were really awesome toys and looked really cool. My personal favourite was the Dagger Assault vehicle, usually piloted by Recon. The Visionaries toys had a hologram gimmick with each character having a hologram totem, as did their vehicles. At roughly the same time as the Visionaries debuted, a rival action figure range called for Supernaturals made by Tonka came out. This range also employed the hologram gimmick, but lacked the glossy look that Visionaries had. Also unlike Visionaries, who had a cartoon that accompanied the toy line, the Supernaturals had no cartoon for kids to get to know the characters, so eventually the Supernaturals faded away into obscurity. The Supernatural toy packaging didn't look very good compared to that of the Visionaries toy packaging. And the fact that Visionaries had a cartoon sealed the deal and Visionaries was the VHS and Supernaturals was the Betamax.